You ever have that moment where you watch a movie and after you've watched it, you say to yourself, that's now my number one most hated film of the year? Well, I just had that moment. The film that I'm going to be talking about for you guys today is a horror comedy film called All Jacked Up and Full of Worms. This film will be premiering on digital services on November the 8th, Voodoo, Amazon, Google Play, all those, and also Screenbox. I've actually never heard of that, but that will be also available on there as well. But now without further ado, let's get into my review about this new film. All Jacked Up and Full of Worms follows Roscoe, a seedy motel maintenance man. After discovering some powerful hallucinogenic worms, he meets Benny. They fall in love making worms together before embarking on an odyssey of sex and violence. The film stars Philip Andre Botello, Betsy Brown, Noah Lepolsky, Trevor Dawkins, and Eva Fellows, and was directed by Alex Phillips, which is his directorial debut. So going into All Jacked Up and Full of Worms, I knew that this film actually premiered on the Brooklyn Horror Film Festival, but I was going to cover the VOD release because I had so many screenings during that whole festival, and I figured since there really isn't any new releases coming out this week, I'll go ahead and review this film. And honestly, I wish I never watched this film. So a few nights ago, I tried to watch the screener, and it crapped out on me because I had really bad internet. Something was going on with my connection. I only got to watch like 20 minutes of it, and I should have took that as a sign because I actually did get to watch the full film the other night, and the most positive thing that I can say about this film is I'm glad that it was only 68 minutes because this film is my new number one most hated film of the year. It is definitely the number one on the worst list. I did not enjoy this film at all. So you have a couple here and this couple, they are having trouble really kindling their relationship. So you have this guy that actually works as a hotel worker and he's a maintenance guy, and his girlfriend is actually having sex with another guy. He comes home and sees that she's doing this, and he can't muster up the courage to tell her that he's not okay with this. Then you have another story with this guy that is really obsessed with wanting to have a kid. So he tries to order an actual doll so he can practice being a father. Well, that turns out to be an infant sex doll, and you can imagine that there is a scene in this movie where he's doing something with that doll it is the most disturbing and nasty thing. There is also a part in this film where he is actually feeding the baby where the actual hole is of the infant sex doll, feeding it milk. It's just, it's really gross, guys. And what's really interesting, or I shouldn't even say really interesting about this film, is you have this guy that ends up having sex with this prostitute. And when he goes to have sex with this prostitute, she wants to get him high. But we're not talking real drugs here. We're talking about magic worms. Worms where you eat them whole and they make you have hallucinogenic thoughts. That is the story of this film. So what's really gross about these worms is not only they're alive and they're eating them, but this whole prostitute, she has them in a case and it has all her cigarette ashes in the actual case. It's absolutely gross. I hate smoking for the record. So having all these ashes and then having these live worms, and then when they eat these worms, they have all these hallucinogenic thoughts and weird, happy kind of thoughts. That's really the basic plot of this movie. And there is a portion where this guy that is with the prostitute, he ends up getting her pregnant, and the pimp goes after him and beats him with a baseball bat like six, seven times, and somehow he lives. I, I don't even know, but... I think that was probably the most funniest thing about the movie. It just doesn't really have any direction. It's a lot of stupid visuals. I don't know how to even describe this film. It has no plot. It just felt like this film, it had a lot of shock value that it was trying to portray. This is the director's first film. I don't enjoy films like this. I don't enjoy watching people eat worms, throw up, gag, have all this disgusting stuff with them in the worms. There is another portion in the film where it is towards the end of the film and there is a portion where they try to make this a slasher film. No clue why. It's just out of left field. And it's with characters that are introduced in the beginning of the film, but they're so brief. It's like a bunch of these bums that are actually having sex behind a building. And they end up introducing them later into the film. And when they introduce them... 
it has a slasher vibe to it. Like, what the hell is this movie? While they're doing this supposed stabbing, you have them like ripping out this guy's intestines and like wrapping it around a bunch of different people and like choking them to death. Somehow this guy is still living. I don't even understand. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's like the most dumbest thing I've watched all year. And not only is it the dumbest thing I've watched all year, but it's just, it's gross. I, I just, I, I really handle a lot of horror movies and I just, I don't even know what to say about this film to you guys. I guess you could say that maybe the camera work is half decent, but that's really it. Oh, and it gets even better. So after they're actually wrapping all these intestines around these people and choking them to death, they start turning into these creatures and then we all start throwing up. I mean, you know, everybody loves to watch a lot of people just throw up and gag on worms and just throw up everywhere. That's this shitty ass movie. I, I, I honestly don't know what to tell you guys. I'm spoiling this movie because I, I don't want any of you guys to watch this. This movie is fucking garbage. Like, I, I, I honestly was so aggravated with this movie. I haven't been this pissed in really any movie that I've watched this year. I would say probably the only other movie that I've watched that really pissed me off was probably like Dash Cam. But this movie was just stupid, flat out dumb. No point to it at all. This is more so a rant than even really a review at this point because I I just don't know. I don't know where the director was with this. Like, is this art? Like, who, who enjoys this? I don't know. But really, all I could say for a score of this film is I would give it a zero. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess a half star for Letterboxd, but th this is terrible. I mean, I, I didn't sign up to watch this kind of film and I was hoping that there would be some type of plot with this film but there's nothing and don't waste your time if anything you know tell people to not watch this movie I I don't usually tell you guys not to watch something but this is garbage this this is trash this it's gross it has no message and I mean you're you're just watching a bunch of characters that are all unlikable and there's, there's nothing to like about the film, except for, I guess, if you want a good laugh and a really nonsensical plot. And one other thing I'd like to add, too, is not only do they turn into these creatures, but the prostitute and the guy that is actually getting killed, they have, they actually turn the uh, infant baby and, and or whatever, the um, actual baby that they had that was the sex style. Apparently, that's that's now their baby. The end. There, I spoiled it for you. You're welcome. I saved you guys a few dollars from running this film. So those are my thoughts on this film, or rather a rant, I guess. So you guys know uh, a, a zero out of five. Half out, half out of five, I guess, because um, Letterbox doesn't let you do zeros, I guess. So... Um, yeah, those are my thoughts on this film. I uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this rant. Uh, avoid this film. It sucks. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next review.